Once you receive your Zeno, uh, here are a few suggestions uh, of what you should do. Uh, first off, once you've unboxed it, uh, you will want to charge your battery. The Zeno comes with a stock Hubson battery charger. And it comes with the charging cable. Please uh, look at my other videos and you will find videos on how to make up your own balance cable. This is a balance extension cable that you connect to this cable. I have videos to show you that and other various balance cables. So charge your battery, charge your controller, pick the appropriate cable for your device. In this case I'm using an iPhone 8 Plus. The Zeno comes with a little tiny quick start guard uh, guide. Throw that away. Go to the Hubson website and download the full user manual for that information and more. And I highly encourage you to read the manual. Once you have done that and everything is charged, power on your Zeno. Always remember to remove the gimbal cover. Power on your controller. For instructions on pairing, uh, please look for my video for pairing all these devices. Connect your lightning cable. And once I've established my connection, which I've done, I go into my settings and I select Wi-Fi and then I connect to the aircraft Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi has been established and it's telling me to restart the drone if this is for the first time and it's telling me that I do not have a SD card in place Hubson recommends that you use a class 3 which you probably cannot see a class 3 uh, in this case I'm using a SanDisk Extreme 64 gigabyte class 3 um, this is uh, also capable up to 128 gigabytes I also have a class 3 uh, SanDisk Ultra 128 gigabyte. Insert your card into the side. And now we're going to want to bind. And we're going to skip the GPS accuracy. Again, all of this instruction to pair everything together. I have a very detailed uh, video if you look at my other videos. In this video I just want to give you some recommendations. The quad will not ask you for a compass calibration out of the box. I highly recommend you do a compass calibration. Go into settings and Get familiar with all the different settings. It'll tell you your firmware versions and all that. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, for the joysticks you have different settings. So go, just go through your app and get to know everything, uh, what it means and what it does when you select different things. Make sure you have a good understanding of the app and all the settings. So the first thing I recommend you do is to initiate a compass calibration. So that's what we're going to do. Compass calibration. 
Now, as you can see, it's asking us to do the compass calibration. You simply take the quad, turn it clockwise, or you can turn it counterclockwise, some people do, until the prompt on the phone switches, then you go nose down, and you're going to get a warning about the gimbal. Now the compass calibration is done. Usually I recommend you do that on site at the location that you're going to be flying at. Indoors, around electronics and magnetics, it's, it's not uh, something I recommend. I'm going to keep getting this, this message now because doing that calibration with the gimbal cover off, um, I put it at an angle and it keeps giving me that message seems to have settled down now it's 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 out of gimbal lock that's another thing you'll want to get familiar with you your quad will go into a gimbal lock and uh, in this case it took itself out <clears throat> next thing you would like to do that I recommend is the gimbal gyro calibration and watch here you'll see the camera moving says it's complete and now restart the aircraft wait for the lights Go back into your settings, controls, connect again to the aircraft. Wi-Fi is established. It's telling me restart the drone again. I'm ignoring that. No SD card in place. I'm ignoring that. Go back into settings. And do a horizontal calibration. Keep your quad on a flat level surface. You can do this at home before you go and fly uh, on the field. Do it on a flat level surface like your dining room table. If it's nice and level you can simply just put it on the table and um, what you're going to want to do is just set it there then you're going to select horizontal calibration and I did the wrong thing oh it's because I didn't rebind sorry I gotta bind to the aircraft again skip the GPS accuracy test while I'm inside we'll go back over that real quick but Go to horizontal calibration. Lights are flashing and it's done. This is very important. Doing a horizontal calibration, if you've ever heard anybody say uh, re recalibrate your IMU, that's what you're doing. Um, you want to do this. So before you go and fly your Xeno out of the box, you want to do a horizontal calibration do your gimbal calibration at home then when you get out to the field you can do your compass calibration where you rotate the quad like I did and um, the other thing is when you bind when you start up and you bind the quad it's going to um, right here it says bounded it's going to then ask you to do the GPS accuracy test 
and that is something you want to do on the field where you're going to be flying as well. So you just set your quad on the landing pad or takeoff pad or wherever you have it that you're going to be taking off from. Do the next step for the GPS accuracy test. Keep the controller close to the quad and wait for it to pass the GPS accuracy test. In this case we're indoors and it will not pass in my case so I'm skipping this operation. And that is all you really need to do. Um, don't forget to insert your card uh, into the slot in the side with bottom side up and when you record make sure you stop your recording before you power off the quad so you do not corrupt the file on the disk and that's what that's my basic recommendations for what you should do with the Xena once you receive it and get it out of the box again please go to the Hubson website download the full manual read it understand it um, join a good Facebook group like mine and um, ask any questions that you have and get your knowledge on this quad before you take to the air. Uh, this way you can limit your um, possibilities of crashing and increase your possibility for successful flight. Thank you very much for watching. Please click subscribe and give me that thumbs up if you found this video useful. Thank you.